Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to how farms work. We are at the main farm right now. Travis just left with the VT and the 8235R, and he's headed down to his place to VT some of the lower strips and waterways to try to smooth it out. And then we are going to take the 4020 and the Harrow down and level out the ground. So what we've done in the past um, has been that we would typically VT drill our grass or our alfalfa and then follow along with the harrow however with our first harrow i think it's a little aggressive uh, compared to what we've used in the past and i think with the heavy amounts of rain that we got last year uh, it hurt us because it covered up the grass a little bit deeper than what it should be but uh with this drill i think that where, what our game plan was before we even got this new coon drill was that we were going to harrow it before we drilled it and um, that way it can, the seeds would be at a consistent depth and we wouldn't have to worry as much about emergence with the grass. Because when you're planting or sowing seeding grass, you typically only want to get it about an eighth of an inch to a quarter or up to a half inch deep in the soil. Um, so that's fairly shallow. If you go through with the harrow right after you drill it, I mean, you're going to be leveling out a lot of ridges. And it really doesn't take much to go from uh, an eighth of an inch depth to one inch with the ridges that that harrow can smooth out So we're gonna take the 4020 down in the harrow and start harrowing down there and um, then tomorrow we'll come through with the Seed drill and we'll be seeding it down uh, We're trying to do a lot of waterways and lower strips to slow down the erosion um, With all the rain that we'd gotten last year the rain really hurt us. And we're gonna fire up the 4020 and head out All right. set up. Let's get started. One of the chains on the back broke. No big deal. I could have lost it if I didn't notice. But uh, it should go on there like that. You can see the previous link is broken off. So the chains in the back, when you fold it up, they hold the racks from crumpling down on themselves. Um, I could take that link, that chain off there for now and keep running it as is, but um, I'm gonna go over and go to Travis's toolbox and bring over a couple tools and just do it while I can. It's really not that big of a deal. All right, Travis, let's see what's in your goodie box. I think it's a 916. It's just a 916 bolt. Ooh. There we have it. 
Time to keep moving. Whoa! Look at that boulder. That's a nice boulder. We just got back with the 4020 and now we should be ready to go seed now that everything's harrowed should be nice and smooth all those larger clods should be broken down and the ground that was chiseled which is especially important in the waterways when you're trying to establish a stand um, you want to make sure that the ground is nice and level so anyway with that that's pretty much it for this video thanks for watching be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. With that, I'll see you next time.